Point Theater. I'm calling the cops on you. I can help that man back there, but not you. I believe there's someone in front of me. What a disgrace. I'm calling the cops. I'm here to stand in solidarity with the people of Baltimore. What seems to be the problem here? These folks won't leave. This is for whites only. Officer, officer. You want to stand in line with these folks? Yes, I do. I see how it is. I spent that night in jail. I was born in New York, but moved to Mississippi with my grandparents when I was two. I spent most of my early life there, but moved back to New York when I got older, but things went downhill from there. I started hearing voices in my head, telling me what to do, saying things that I couldn't barely understand. I found myself in such disrepair, I ended up in a mental health hospital. There, I faced discrimination of all kinds. I saw many men break and falter, but I knew I had to be strong. I knew what it was like being attacked for something I couldn't control. And when I was let out, a year and a half later, I wrote a book about my experiences. Ever since then, I've been fighting for what I believe is right, and protesting the only way I know how, delivering mail. Hey, do you work at the White House? Well, I sure do. Well, uh, could you give this to President Kennedy for me? Uh, all right. Thanks, sir. What an oddball. People called me all sorts of names. They made fun of me, too. Thought I couldn't make a difference. But I knew the change I could bring, being a white man standing up for colored folk here in America. After delivering letters to President Kennedy and the governor of Maryland, I decided my next protest would be to walk from Shanatoga, Tennessee, to Jackson, Mississippi, and to the governor, Ross Barnett's office. You see, just a year prior, in 1962, the Supreme Court ordered the University of Mississippi to admit a black man, James Meredith, into their school. Thirteen days later, Governor Ross Barnett ordered his state troopers to stop the boy from attending. I wanted to give the governor a personal letter arguing for the integration of the South. But everyone begged me not to go to Mississippi. Look, Mort, I appreciate all the support you've given us, but this is dangerous. I don't want to see a friend like you getting hurt. Will, you can't go down south. You'll die if you protest segregation. Honey, please. You're standing up for something you believe in, but walking alone in the south, that sounds dangerous. But I insisted on hand delivering that letter to the governor of Mississippi. I wanted that staunch segregationist to change his mind. I must admit what I was doing was quite controversial, but despite their warnings, I knew what I had to do and left for Mississippi. But as expected, I was met with immediate resistance. Hey, what that sign say? I'm protesting segregation, standing up for civil rights. Well, I happen to lock segregation. Well, I happen to not. Well, I think you'd best get out of here. A white man protesting segregation? You better leave. Despite that harsh encounter, I just kept walking. What are you doing? Protesting segregation, but I'm taking a break right now. Is that so? I gotta deliver this letter to the governor of Mississippi. That's nice and all, but why don't you turn around? It gets quite dangerous and... I appreciate the concern, officer, but I feel quite safe on these roads. I should get going anyways. Hey, you're that Moore guy, right? You're that fella I hear is walking to Mississippi. Yes, I am. Name's Charlie Hicks, Radio News. The name's William Lewis Moore. Do you think I could get an interview? I think it's a story a lot of people would like. Well, sure. I don't see the harm in that. Great. Let me get my equipment. Okay, we're rolling. So why are you out here? Well, I just saw so much discrimination in the world. I thought I had to protest it somehow. And where are you from? What do you do back home? I'm a mailman. All the way up in Baltimore. Well, Alabama's the last place I'd find someone like you. What are you planning to do? Well, I plan to deliver a letter to Ross Barnett. The Governor Ross Barnett? Yes, of Mississippi. And done. Well, that works out great, thank you. You sure I can't give you a ride? No, no, I'm fine. 
I plan to spend the night at the G&J Frock Stop up ahead. Besides, I plan to send a message. You sure you're gonna walk all the way? Yes, yes, I'll be fine. You're too kind. Well, thank you. Take care, friend. You too. Sadly, I didn't get much farther than that rest stop. I finally caught up with you, boy. I had to go home and grab my rifle. I don't like what you've been preaching, boy. All this equality mess. That's it. Wipe that pride off your face, fella. It ain't gonna get you nowhere out here. Hello, police. Can you check up on more? I think you might be in danger. Dear Governor Barnett, do not go down in infamy as one who fought the democracy for all which you have the power to prevent. Would you look at the... In every state of the Union, producing in many cities a rising tide of discontent. The white man cannot truly be free himself until all men have their rights. Be gracious and give more than is immediately demanded of you. Signed, William Lewis Moore.